Hey everyone, welcome back to Give Yourself a Raise. I started messing around with AI just to see what all the buzz was about. Playing around with chat GPT, just asking it a simple question, what is a stablecoin? And it popped me out this script. Then I popped that script over into Murph Studio and meet my buddy Kevin. He's here to explain what a stablecoin is. Now, is it perfect? No, but check this out and see how close this actually is with just minimal information. Now, if you like this type of content, like and subscribe to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Let's throw this over to Kevin and see what this tech is all about. Stable coins are a type of cryptocurrency that are designed to maintain a stable value relative to a specific asset, such as the US dollar or gold. They are called stable coins because they aim to provide the benefits of cryptocurrencies, such as fast and cheap transactions, while avoiding the price volatility that is common with other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. One way that stable coins achieve stability is by being backed by a reserve asset. For example, a stable coin called Tether, USDT, is backed by US dollars held in reserve, and each Tether token is intended to represent one US dollar. This means that if you hold one Tether token, you can redeem it for one US dollar at any time. Other stable coins may be backed by assets like gold or real estate. Stable coins are used for a variety of purposes, including as a means of storing value, as a way to transfer money internationally, and as a way to hedge against market volatility. They can be traded on cryptocurrency exchanges like other cryptocurrencies, and they can also be used to make purchases at merchants that accept them. Safety and security are important considerations when it comes to stable coins. It's important to make sure that the stable coin you are using is backed by a reputable and transparent reserve asset, and that the issuer of the stable coin is trustworthy and transparent about their operations. It's also important to make sure that you are storing your stable coins in a secure wallet and protecting your private keys. Overall, stable coins can be a useful tool for those looking to take advantage of the benefits of cryptocurrencies while minimizing the risks of price volatility. By taking the necessary precautions and doing your due diligence, you can use stable coins with confidence and security. So what do you think? Really, this is not even updated information. They only have data up to 2020 in chat GTP, and it's already pumping out stuff like this. Now, realistically, if this could run Google out of business, I mean, why do you need to type in a search bar when you can write an essay or a script right from chat GTP by asking it a simple question? And now you can even ask further questions to get more detail if that's something you're looking for. Now, was this a perfect definition of a stablecoin? No, this is just how stablecoins are supposed to work. We know from the past couple years that not all stablecoins are the same and they don't all work like they're supposed to. Either way, this was pretty darn close. And in Murph Studios, you can pick so many different people to talk for you. Yes, you can tell it's AI, it's not a real person talking, but it's getting pretty darn close. Really kind of scary in my opinion, but this can massively cut down on the time it takes to produce videos get answers for things, or help you write scripts. Now you can get your basic script from chat GPT and change things in there and then move them over to something like Merce Studio and throw a face to it and have them read the script for you. And there's your video. Something that used to take us a couple hours to research and another couple hours to throw a script together, countless times doing this, recording videos over and over again, editing over and over, taking so much time just to pump out a video that might only be five or 10 minutes. And it could be done in a couple minutes with this and thrown right onto YouTube. So what do you think? Comment below on if this is scary, good, or a little of both. And again, if you like this type of content, talking about phone money, ways to create passive income, and just overall time management, like and subscribe to my channel. That's what we talk about here. And don't forget to give yourself a raise. I'll see you next time.